How's it going? Kieran here with another tutorial. This tutorial is uh, a bit of a fun one. I streamed on Twitch the other night. Um, just a little light-hearted logo tutorial where I tried to kind of bring a meme to life. Some people might have seen the meme of like a bundle of sticks and uh, it says like, oh, my new death metal band logo or my new black metal band logo. So uh, I just tried, as a little exercise, little experiment, I tried to see if I could actually make a logo just from a photograph of one tree. And uh, yeah, as I said, I streamed this on Twitch and you can check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash spearhead IRL. So now um, we may as well just get cracking. I've, I've sped up the footage. It was like about an hour and a half. I've sped it up into 10 minutes and uh, I'll just walk you through it. So to get started, I used a website called unsplash.com. This is a license-free pho photographs, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. But uh, I quite like this site because it's not as cringy as most uh, stock photography sites. You know, the, there is a lot of cool photos on there that you can use. And as I said, it is all license-free. It is cool if you use it in your projects just to give the, the photographer um, a credit or a shout out you know it goes a long way so what I do is I decided on this tree because there is a lot of nice branches you know they they have that real kind of spiky organic creepy looking form almost like lightning bolts or, or that type of thing and what I want is to find the best and kind of like gnarliest looking branches uh, that I'm gonna use so my workmate behind me there in the video, Oscar, decided that COVID is probably the best uh, uh, where to go for for this logo design because it's only five letters and you know this is just a fun little experiment. So I hashed out a rough shape here, just really loosely, um, and dropped the opacity on that layer, and that's going to be the the shape that I'm going to try to follow. So back to our photograph of a tree, I used color select and, and selected the white background after bringing the um, the contrast up so it, it is basically just black and white left in the image selected the white deleted it and made a new layer just with my black branches and um, then what i did was i started looking through the tree here to find branches that i like the look of and like the shape of and ones that I feel kind of already have a bit of uh, like death metal, black metal, like creepy sort of vibe to them. So I start chopping those ones out and just dropping them down onto my guide. My guide layer, as I said, is just super rough. You know, I'm, I'm using that as a very, very loose basis. You know, I'm not gonna adhere to it too tightly because I will be redrawing these branches. So you can kind of be as rough and quick as you want here. I'm really just kind of throwing in branches and warping them into shape. And ones that I think are interesting or ones that kind of um, will suit, you know, kind of creepy wings coming off the logo or just look nasty, you know, kind of like horror style. You could take as long or as short a time as you want in this process or at this stage of the process I should say because we're going to be redrawing these shapes but there's something nice about the natural kind of flow the organic flow of branches and stuff that like you might not be able to come up with yourself without using reference photography which in this case we are going to the extreme and we're like chopping out individual branches from our reference photo. So here I've got a shape that I thought was kind of getting there and kind of cool. So again, like my death metal tutorial, um, which might not actually be out yet. But what I do is I make the first half of the logo the C O V or even half of V and then uh, gonna duplicate that layer and flip it, mirror flip it and uh, 
get like the general shape that way. Here you can see I'm adding a bit more kind of spikes and branches because we want, as we said, we want this to be a kind of black metal style logo, like a folk black metal, almost crust kind of logo, you know, uh, really playing on the bundle of sticks joke in the meme. So now I'm pretty happy with this kind of shape. I did kind of like warp and bend and use perspective to get it a, a more kind of iconic metal form. But once I was happy with that, I used my uh, free lasso tool, make a new layer and draw around like really spiky, creepy looking shapes over the branches. So I'm using these branches as my guides um, to get that real like organic kind of feeling. And then uh, just press uh, shift F5 and enter to fill with black. That's a lot quicker than, you know, like making your selection um, with your lasso tool and then having to go like get your brush tool and fill it in manually with the brush just shift f5 and enter and that will be that will fill it with black i'm sure on a mac it is the same it might be command f5 and enter but it, it's the same thing in this process you can really kind of go quick as well like the only thing that I would really say to watch out for is to make sure your branches and stuff are pretty much the same width and weight because the C, O and V uh, parts of the letters is what we want to kind of stand out. Although we do want it to be illegible, you still uh, want your form to be balanced. I believe in on the stream I was talking to Guillaume, Hugo and Richard which are all incredible designers. And we had a nice discussion kind of about how some designers they have the flair and they have like the um the ability but they just don't have their fundamentals down and that is something i find really important like you want your fundamentals to be really um locked in before you start kind of trying any wacky stuff learn the rules and break them is something i say all the time and if you watch these videos you're probably going to hear me say it like a broken record now if I was happy with my first three letters, so I merged them all, all my sticks onto one layer, duplicated that layer, flipped it horizontal, dragged it over, and then nip tucked to make my I and my D. So you can see that see there now it's C O V I D. Because COVID is a a topical <laughs> topical thing at the moment obviously worldwide we're all sick of it now so what I've done now that I got my my form kind of looking like a logo it almost looks like a bug or like a yeah like a an insect or a beetle or something well beetles are insects but you know what I mean so I decided I want to make it even busier so a nice little trick is once you've got your your layers all locked in you can chop out with your lasso tool, just make a selection around kind of spikes and bits that you thought kind of looked good, and you can just copy and paste them, throw them on top. Again, don't forget to uh, mirror everything. Sometimes it's always good. I always work on the left, mirror that, and then uh, flip it over. There, I was just kind of playing with a bit of a uh, refined edge, kind of thickening it up and stuff, but uh, opted to go back. Now playing again with some um, warping, some perspective, you know, just messing around, kind of getting the shape I like. There I duplicated my layer, uh, lifted one layer up, um, put a white stroke on that, and then with my bottom layer, I dropped it out. Now I'm just kind of really quickly texturing things up because as we said, we want this to look organic and disgusting, like as, as nasty as possible because it's a, a black metal style logo. Um, we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to look real kind of dirty and creepy. So I'm gonna put another Google Drive folder in this, um, the, the description on this video with the assets that I used in, in this design and you can play around with them yourself. There's my uh, texture that I kind of fall back on a lot, the, the Xeroxy one, so I'm just firing that over and I'm playing with my screen and my lighten and then my uh, darken and multiply and 
just play around with like light, lighter and darker things and you'll get like a nice kind of effect so yeah pretty happy with that it was uh, as i said it was quite a quick little stream it was about an hour and a half start to finish and um you know nothing too strict i got quite loose i even had a drink beforehand with uh, my work colleagues so i was kind of just uh, playing it by ear but i feel that this experiment was a success you can make a black metal logo from a photograph of a tree so uh if i don't know if that helps anybody out there but if it does then happy days if not for sure thanks for watching the video anyway and uh Giz now like and sub and tune back for more tutorials in uh, the very near future. Take care.